creative friends, it's Gwen and I'm back today with another scrapbooking process video. Today's share is for Coco Vanilla Studio and I'm going to be using their uh, Daydream collection for this one. I have a bit of a plan. I'm really keen to use this sweet pattern paper called Daisy Days and I'm also going to fussy cut out these butterflies and I'll show you the photo. So this one is of my Miss 14 now, she was 13. And I had to leave this footage in here. For all of you who think that my stitching is always perfect, it is not always perfect. Uh, I'm just really good at covering up the bits that aren't so perfect. Okay, so my background for this one is the Garden Variety pattern paper, and it's actually the one that has all those beautiful cut apart florals on the A side. This one is the B side, and I wanted something quite dark for this layout because I knew I was going to use that lovely big cut file as a bit of a background element. This one is from Cut To You, and yes, as I mentioned, I did back all the little triangles in it in that Daisy Days pattern paper and then I went ahead and added a bunch of stitching so I stitched around the border of the page I also stitched my photo edge and then I stitched a few of the lines within the cut file if you've known me for five minutes you'll know that I do love adding stitching to a layout it's it's a detail that I love to add because it makes it feel more homemade to me which sounds ridiculous because of course it's homemade it's a scrapbook layout but I just love the little subtle texture that it adds. I think it makes it look more detailed than it actually is. So if you haven't tried stitching, I would highly recommend giving it a go um, on your next layout. Okay, so onto the design for the page. For this one, I'm going to add my photo towards the right hand side of the layout. I've chosen the right because my daughter is looking in towards the left and I just prefer the subjects in my photos to be looking towards the center of the layout, not towards the layout edge. It's not a rule, it's just how I like it. And then to balance my photo out, I'm going to create a large embellishment cluster on the left. I'm also going to add two embellishment clusters towards the right and they will kind of help balance out the page, but they will also create essentially a visual triangle, which my photo will appear inside of. And I feel like it just will help with the flow um, of the page left to right. So the, the eye will travel for this one. It will start with a title on the left and it will just travel across and finish on the photo on the right. The other thing that I do that really helps pull the page together and helps give that feel of everything fitting together well is I repeat elements in my clusters. So you'll see for the three clusters that I've got going on, they all have a floral element. They are all going to have by the end of the layout a typed sentiment and they will all also have a butterfly nearby in the end. Things are getting serious because I am gluing some of the elements down. I have got a few layers going on in my clusters as well. I do like to raise my photo up on foam tape, which I have done here. And then the layers between the floral elements there, they will have foam in between them as well. It's just another subtle detail, but it really adds to the overall end product of the page. I am now going to lock in the position of the flare button and even though those ones do come with an adhesive back on them I like to add a little bit of liquid adhesive just to make sure it's really really stuck for the long haul I have also see how it's on the edge of the photo there the photo is raised up and the background is flat so to help the flare button stay nice and level and to give it something to sit on I've actually just scooched a little bit of double-sided tape in underneath just one side of it and I find that that's a really good way to yeah give it something nice and solid to sit on and then adding the liquid adhesive means it's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. So it is coming together quite nicely at this point and here is where I've added in those type sentiments from the accessory sticker sheet. 
I was also fussing with the little gap that was above um, the type sentiment there that says be a rainbow. I did originally have that position slightly lower and the little gap in between the edge of the flower and the top of that sentiment was bothering me. So I do end up scooching it up a little bit and I did add an extra little leaf there in that floral cluster. The little banner there uh, underneath that says beautiful you and that is another die cut element. And it's about now that I almost call the page done until I remember my butterflies. I really wanted to add some butterflies to this layout. So I do fussy cut out quite a few of them and then proceed to audition them all over the page. I end up with two of the navy and one of the really pretty pink. And three is always a good number. There's three clusters. It kind of makes sense that there would be three butterflies to me. And that will call the layout complete. If you like the way that I scrapbook or the way that I chat about the way that I scrapbook, I would love it if you give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to check the description box below for the details of the cut file and how to get your hands on the gorgeous Cocoa Vanilla Studio supplies that I have used today. Any questions, leave them below as well. And I will We'll see you all in the next video. Until then, 